Mike Blue Hair here reporting for Film the Police Portland. Hello, people of the internet. As you recall, my recent, most recent upload was entitled Proud Boys and Neo Nazi Front Group Pull Off the Most Epic Internet Troll in American History. And that's exactly what it was, folks. Quick little, quick little side note. Right there across the front of my bow is Mount Hood. I'm right, right in the middle of the Columbia River, and I'm having a gay old time today. Not gay as in I want to hump hump my male friends, but I don't judge, but just gay as in a happy, good day. So, if you look at statements by Mr. Tario, Mr. Enrique Tario, the Proud Boys Alpha Douchebag, and Joe Biggs, they openly admit that their entire strategy was to gaslight an entire city, have downtown shut down because... Businesses shut themselves down because they were expecting another epic battle between them and Antifa and now's when I'll cut to a video of The right fighting for their right to riot. Yeah now this massive brawl that you're watching right now No one was charged for any of this violence So that is why the good people of Portland were under the impression that there was going to be a mass brawl because up until the last few weeks Portland has refused to prosecute anyone on riot charges for these massive street battles that have been going on for two plus years. So, you know, I'll give credit where credit's due. Great troll, guys. In fact, that was the most epic troll in American history. Unfortunately, you had to terrorize the entire downtown area of Portland, Oregon, and go on Infowars.com, Mr. Biggs, and frame the narrative like it's going to be like World War II and we're in the war room and I'm, I'm going to have Pan Man, Mr. whatever his damn name is, the dude that knocked that guy out. Uh, oh, you'd be scared there's going to be a, a Proud Boys in your living room attacking you and all this knuckle dragging He-Man woman pleaser shit when, you know, you guys punked out. You know why you punked out? It's because Portland actually started charging people with riots. You know, so you guys are just too scared to face criminal charges for your behavior and you thought that you could come down here for a riot vacation and get away with it, uh, get away with it with no legal recourse. Well, I'm just clapping my happy feet that that massive amount of violence didn't happen, that you guys gaslighted the entire city into believing was going to go down. But on the bad side of that, I have never seen so many cops on the streets of Portland since I've been filming protests there since 2008. I mean, they literally had at least a dozen different agencies doing mutual aid. And when I was on the Pete Santilli show warning people about the possible mass violence, I was under the assumption that they wouldn't handle it any differently. But uh, to my shock and dismay, that was just an impressive amount of cops on the street man it was just crazy i mean like out of some kind of b science fiction movie when there's a police state or whatnot or some some dystopian novel but if that's what it takes you know i don't want to live in that world i don't want to live in the world where there's that many cops on the streets okay we shouldn't need that many enforcers to live in a civil society but i don't know where i'm going with this but yeah want to do i do want to say a few words about the neo-nazi proxy army that's being set up because brian james has run violent neo-nazi street gangs for 20 plus years and now over the last two three years he wants to be a born-again patriot because i guess somebody said a really rousing uh you know pledge of allegiance that just made him tear up and he just you know changed all of his you know jew hating homosexual hating you know, black person hating neo-Nazi crap that he's been, you know, spewing for 20 plus years. He just, he, he's just overwhelmed and somebody waved a flag and now he's a born again constitutionalist. And he wants to form this group of people that wants to stand up for the Bill of Rights and Constitution, blah, 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 limited government, limited government. And if you believe that shit, you are seriously crazy. You are literally insane if you buy this man's load of horse shit. So yeah. If you want to Google the American Guard and look at the YouTube, uh, you, you, YouTube results, you'll see Brian James talking about how he formed the Outlaw Hammerskins and the Vinlanders Social Club and 
a number of other neo-Nazi street gangs, and the only place you're going to find more vicious neo-Nazi or racist gangs than the ones that Mr. James has created and birthed into the streets of America, you would have to go into prison. Okay, uh, the only gangs that are more violent than than the stuff this guy, that, that than Mr. James's contribution to American culture would be inside prisons. Like uh, people like the Aryan Brotherhood or the Brew or European Kindred, shit like that. I mean, that's the only place you're gonna find more violent, racist gangs than the ones that Mr. James has uh, birthed in our society. And I believe the whole point of this American Guard stuff is the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So if you join the Amer American Guard because you're a constitutionalist or you're a, a, an American and you want to stand up against, you know, the, the communist enemy that you perceive in Antifa, then okay, well just know that you're literally taking marching orders and you're a proxy, a proxy soldier fighting on behalf of Brian James and all his other neo-Nazi buddies that run the other violent neo-Nazi street gangs all over America. So yeah, my thoughts about the protest on the 17th if you guys remember when I was on the Pete Santilli show, I was warning people about police using gratuitous amounts of less lethal and there being mass violence. Well, it turns out I've been able to clearly demonstrate in my last video entitled, what did I title, title that video? Proud Boys and Neo Nazi Front Group stage or uh, pull off the most epic internet troll in American history. But basically, they they hyped it up as if, if there was going to be another massive street brawl like the one I'm about to show you now. This is a minute and a, I think a minute and a half of pure bedlam brought to you by the Proud Boys and the people that wanted to fight them. Okay, now that you've seen that, yeah, they basically gaslit the entire city into believing that there was going to be a massive brawl, which there wasn't. And police completely controlled the Proud Boys movements. They denied them access to city, the any city streets that they didn't want them on. They basically closed the bridge at 4 a.m. that they crossed. I think it was a Hawthorne Bridge. But uh, yeah, they closed the bridge at 4 a.m. and then uh, left it closed until the Proud Boys wanted to cross and then they could have their photo op where they get to brag about how they've wasted millions of dollars of Portland's money. That was precious. And yes, the American Guard is a neo-Nazi front group. I don't care what Brian James says. You know, so I guess somebody, I guess he wants us to believe that somebody just waved the American flag just so, or somebody made a very rousing rendition of America the Beautiful, sung that song, or gave the Pledge of Allegiance that just made him tear up and make him want to become a reformed neo-nazi organization or organizer for more than 20 years and now he's a constitutionalist you know I think key bono who benefits who benefits from Brian James starting all these American guard chapters and having people war with that Antifa that would be all the rest of his neo-nazi brother organizers that run all the chapters of neo-Nazi groups all over the country, being able to recruit and oppress minorities and, you know, plan murders of people and all that fun stuff that neo-Nazi hate groups do without being molested, harassed, or agitated by Antifa because Antifa would be too busy tied up in the court system fighting these useful idiots that Brian James recruits into these various chapters of the American Guard. So that's my takeaway. If you're out there in the Patriot community and you're one of my friends, you're one of the people that respect my work and respect that I was objective and I reported the truth when I was out there in Malheur, you should hear me when I say this. Brian James is not a constitutionalist. Brian James is using you people as useful idiots to fight with the only group that's Antifa that vehemently op opposed them for decades before Antifa was in conflict 
with the mainstream right. So whatever that's worth it to you. And if you look at the propaganda being spit by the American Guards YouTube channel, they're all massive fans of Bill the Butcher from the movie Gangs of New York. All this raw, raw American constitutionalist propaganda just realize that real Americans fight Nazis. They do not allow themselves to be manipulated into this front group. And Brian James even says in the interview that I will link underneath this video that the other founders of the American Guard are also, quote, former neo-Nazis. It's just ridiculous. James, also, if you don't believe that Antifa was going after real Nazis before this conflict with the mainstream right that you seem to see on TV and the internet all the time, in the interview beneath this video, you will actually hear Brian James brag about how he not only organized the largest gathering of neo-Nazis in recent memory, but he also bragged about how he was able to keep Antifa out of the areas that he was running when he was running vicious, violent neo-Nazi street gangs. So, don't believe me, believe the Nazi. The Nazi Brian James will actually brag about how he was able to keep Antifa out of the areas that he was running. So that proves to you that Antifa was in conflict with these neo-Nazi groups before the last couple of years when they've exploded onto the internet as being a household discussion at the dinner table in Republican households. So that's enough of my ranting. See you guys on the next video. And now is the time in the video when you dig deep, pull out your cell phone, scan this QR code, and hook me up with some crypto love. I do accept Bitcoin donations. See you guys on the next video. Now's the time in the video when you pony up, dig deep, scan this QR code, and give me that Bitcoin. Because I don't want some of the Bitcoin. I don't want half of the Bitcoin. I want all of the Bitcoin.